Servus YouTube, so today it's only me and um, before I talk about the first episode of the sixth season of the Vampire Diaries called I Remember, I have to apologize to you guys. Um, I know that Kim and I promised to do a video every, every week, um, which we obviously didn't um, and that's because we decided that a video for the season start and the season finale or in case of series like The Vampire Diaries or The Originals or Supernatural which are really really long um, the season start is mid finale and so on and so on would be enough because we are in our senior years which is really stressful and now we'll talk about the first episode of The Vampire Diaries and um, before I start to review it um, I do it alone because Kim doesn't watch The Vampire Diaries she doesn't like it and um, I think I have to admit that I am not so fond of the show anymore it kind of got really really not exactly boring but I got annoyed with the writing somewhere during season 4 and I haven't even watched the fifth season while it went on. I caught up on the better part of the episodes a month later, so... Um, yeah. Now, I think this, this first episode was kind of a summary, partially, of the last season. And it just it showed us what happened to the different characters um, after Bonnie and Damon died. Um, yeah, I'm still not really over it, and I still don't really believe their death because no protagonist really dies in the Vampire Diaries, so. I'm not really sure. I think they're going to come back um, at some point during this season. It would be it would be so unlike Julie Flex writing if they wouldn't come back and if they would just be dead. With that said, I'll move on. Um, yes, so we have the different characters like Elena, Stefan, Caroline, Tyler, Jeremy. There's Matt who's in this group, which is supposed to protect the town. And, well, I didn't even know what to think of that, to be honest. Then there's Tyler, who's just a werewolf now in Camp Mountain and has really, really, really bad anger issues he has to deal with. And he's kind of trying to open up to Liz. And I was like, oh well, now he's falling for another blonde. I'm so sorry, I don't want to be such a bitch about it, but I'm just, I, it's kind of ridiculous. I think, I would you just go like, uh, hey, she's hot, let's open up to her about my anger issues and stuff. Then there's Jeremy who locks himself off, has sex with a girl and plays video games. <sighs> like, I'm so sorry for him. He just lost his girlfriend for the second time. It's awful. Then there's Caroline who dropped out of college which really surprised me. Caroline dropping out of college was just so unlike her. I mean, okay, she lost her friends. I mean, okay, Caroline tries to find a spell against the anti-magic force field around Mystic Falls, but it's just so unlike her to just drop out of college because it's always been her dream. And like she said, Klaus, that she plans on going to college and on living her life and getting out of Mystic Falls. And now she returned to the city as far as she could return and so weird. And of course there's Stefan, who just kind of moved on or at least tried to, and who works as a mechanic, which was kind of 
funny because I always pictured his dad being a doctor after all. And now he works as a mechanic instead of going to college and being a doctor. Okay. And um, he has this girlfriend. I didn't catch her name to be honest. I think I understood something like Ivy, but uh, correct me, I won't say her name unless they repeat it so I can get it right. And um, I'm really happy that Stefan finally got the guts to get out of Mystic Falls, to move on with his life. Um, the only thing I don't really like, or well I get it but I don't like it, is that he kind of Caroline because she's his best friend. And um, now he just kind of leaves her hanging, which is really, which makes him a dick. Then there's Rick, who's back from the dead, and I totally forgot that he's an original, like, did you, did you, like, remember it? Because I forgot, to be honest, and completely honestly forgot it. It has to do with the vampirism, but it's so not able to, like, obviously, um, I totally understand, because he used to be Hunter, so... I wouldn't be able to deal with it uh, as well. I'm just so sorry for him, I mean, I love Rick, and I love that he's back, but... It sucks for him. It seriously does. Elena went high on blood and high on herbs to see Damon again. I mean, I totally understand her. I get it. He was her epic love, after all. And then he just kind of died. It sucks. It totally does. But the way she tried to deal with his dad and um, her biting innocent people and almost killing them is so unlike the lane I'm still used to I'm so not I'm like I'm still not over her turning into a bitch sometimes. I'm still used to season three Elena I guess so and part of partially season 4 Elena before she turned off her emotions because of the sire bomb blah so I'm still not really over her being like that and now Elena wants him to compel her so she forgets Damon which is like batshit crazy because he's been part of her life and I mean I think it seriously broke every Delena she breaks hard I used to be a hardcore Delano shipper, so you know what I'm talking about, and um, yeah. But then there was this last scene with Damon making pancakes and Bonnie, and I think it's the only reason I watched the next episode because it seriously was a cliffhanger and I wanted to I want to know what the actual F is going on with these two right now because it looks like they're a happily married couple and it's just kind of weird. I mean, my, my baby and shipper heart totally appreciates it. Um, like, I, I'm kind of a baby and shipper because of the books, because baby is just a thing there and it's so perfect. Um, but I don't know what to think of it. I don't know what to think of any of the. I don't know what to think of this episode, to be honest. In the title I remember basically summed it up. So that's basically everything I have to say about this TV episode, about the season start. And um, yeah, you get the next video after Homeland, which starts tonight. Yay! I haven't caught up to it yet, unfortunately, um, but because Kim won't let me watch the episodes alone, she, I guess she wants to see how I react to them because it's her favorite show. I understand that, kind of. I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and yeah, we'll see each other after the originals. Bye! Love you!